Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make an interlock for your fuse box. It don't matter what kind of fuse box that you got, the way I'm going to show you how to do it makes it easy. It's actually easy to make, it's just kind of hard thinking about it, so I figured out how to break it down to where it's easy uh, to figure out. I, I'm going to show you mine, just so you know I ain't full of bull. Uh, Here's, here's how my breaker's on right here, my main breaker's on, and this one's cut off. So, you know, how this, work, how this works is, is you got, you got to cut this breaker off and let this slide down before you can cut this breaker on. And then you can't cut this breaker on until you move this breaker back so see it's a real good real good thing so uh if the electricity comes back on i flip the breaker back and then i push this up and then way back to where we started now i ain't installed it but uh the the main thing i think is showing you how to make it now you need a pen a paper and scissors and uh you know, this right here is off. This is on. That's the way it's got to be. So you know that's the way it's going to be. So I'm going to take my pencil and draw me a line. And uh, I'm going to snip that out. And I'm going to take my tape and put me a piece of tape on here. And I know that this has got to be like this. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it down kind of close to this, to the top of this, and I'm going to put it close to this, but I ain't going to jam it though. And you want to make sure that this breaker don't affect your plate. So I'm going to put me another piece right out here. I'm going to put it below that, and uh, let's just say I'll come out of here and uh, cut that square out. So I'm going to take my piece and, and tape it to another piece. If you hadn't got your sides clear, go ahead and make it right. Now see I done covered up my, see I done covered up my main breaker switch. So I'm going to peep up under it and I'm going to draw me a line for my main breaker switch. And it's about right there uh, yeah, and you can do this for any kind I was gonna buy one but uh you know just because I got so much to do because but I couldn't find one for my fuse box so I had to make one which I'm glad I did because uh, they pretty high you know You want to make sure everything's clear and you don't have to worry about trying to jam it too tight. I may have this a little bit too tight. I'll trim it some. Yeah, that's better. Okay, you want to fix it so when you cut this breaker off, it'll slide down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this breaker over. Okay, lights is out. And I'm going to uh, mark right here where it'll clear my breaker. And I'm going to see how it's on up here about maybe about a half an inch. So I'm going to take about a half an inch off of this. Now I can look at that until I took way too much out right here. So I'm gonna put me put this back. And see when I put my piece back, I may, I actually put too much, so I'm gonna take a little bit out right here. And man, this is a good thing about it, you can just like do it over and over. And 
You see that I ain't taking very much. The amount of time that you see me doing this right here is about how long it takes to do it. Although, I'm not, I ain't standing around thinking and all that. So, so then I'm going to take my template and pull it down and make sure that, that that'll work. And you see the top of this could be taller, but it don't matter very much. You want to make sure that like when you pull this down, that this will clear. And then when you push it up, you want to make sure you're catching the breaker here and you clear right here. I got a chair and sat down in here the other day and I looked at this thing. I wouldn't doubt I didn't look at it an hour before I figured out the paper do. But you can do this until until you get it right, until you get it like you want it. And then once you get your template made, I'm going to go outside and show you. So when you're doing it, it's a lot easier when you ain't got a camera. You, you're worried about a camera blocking the view. So see, I'm just going to simply mark this out. And uh, you get the idea. Once you get your piece marked out, you can take a, a square like this and kind of square things up and get it to where your wife ain't laughing at you. And then, uh, and then it, even after you cut it out, you still might have to, uh, you still might have to, like, trim some corners or something, you know? Take it in there to you, take it into your fuse box and do it as many times until you feel like so what I done is I this is kind of thin right here I knew whenever I was doing it I, before I done it I knew I was going to have to make a, a couple of plates but what I done is I sanded this down I made three copies make a copy from you from your original template don't make a copy of the copy of the copy Sand this down, put uh, epoxy on it, or whatever you, whatever you want to put. Lay your other layer up there, put it, epoxy, lay your other layer. And then I took a, I took some a weight and laid it on that. And then even after I've done this, I still like trim mine up just a little bit, you know, here and there. Like where everything was was working like a well oiled engine. And I was gonna show you this. I actually come back out here to do this again. You know, I'm gonna put some slots in it with my grinder. And I'm gonna just draw it out here like where my slots will be. And I'm gonna cut them all the way to the edge. I ain't gonna put them in the center. Uh well, you can put them in the center if you can find out a good way to do it. But I don't, I don't know of a good, easy way to do it. So I figure probably two is enough. It ain't something like it's gonna be, you're going to be doing all the time, you know. But uh, you actually could put like a, another one right here if you feel like you need to. Where you then put your screw in it, which what I'll be doing is putting a screw from the bottom side, not this kind of screw, but putting a screw from the bottom side with some washers and stuff on it where it like where and make it where it'll slide easy. I want to tell y'all I appreciate you watching the video and what I'm going to be doing a little bit later, well it's going to be in the next week or so, I'm going to be buying a generator and putting it out in a building. I'm going to be putting a, a pipe on it to run it outside so the fumes won't be bad. Uh, not that I hang around inside the building, but I mean, I don't think you, you even want to go in it like like just for a minute, like just cutting it off for refueling or something. But anyway, I'm going to be doing all that. I'm going to 
show you I'm going to show you how to do it right now. I am an old country boy, but I got a lot of common sense and I've talked to some electricians and stuff to two different electricians and they've told me what kind of wire that I need to run and I'm the, my wire will be uh fairly long and he told me uh to go up in gauge size to to keep having loss on my you, you know on my long cord and you might want to subscribe to him because that's all that's all coming up like in a week from from this video right here I should have it I should have it within two weeks but I know it's gonna be a lot of work I want to tell y'all I appreciate you watching